out here in the parkway in the southeast corner of the property between the street and the curb this is our water meter and that little red sprocket right there that is a flow indicator it's very sensitive so if that's moving then you got potable water moving into your house some people call it a cheater wheel or cheater paddle call it what you will but when the water company comes out because you're contesting your bill they want to see if you got a leak this is that's how they determine that okay so we come over here into the large garage west wall near the water heaters this is your main water shut off of parallel is on perpendicular is off We gotta walk to the other side. That's okay, we're stuffers. Closest bib faucet to the curb. I'm looking for no more than 80 psi. Okay, so we got about 55 psi. We're supposed to let that set for a little bit. sewer clean out. There might be another one around here somewhere. I kind of expect to see one actually. There is a main sewer clean out. Might want to ask your builder what you were supposed to get. One or two. Okay. Again on the west side of the house. This is our gas meter. It's electrically bonded. Parallel is on, perpendicular is off. That goes to the generator. This goes to the house. So if you're trying to turn off the gas to the house, that's not going to do it. Okay? You got to do it over here. For our lawn sprinkler system, we're blowing and going, aren't we? These are our double check valves. See how this box has been excavated and lined with gravel to keep mud from coming up and filling it? That way you can get your hand around it, you can see it, you can inspect it, you can work on it, you can replace it, you can do all kinds of things with it, but you don't have to un you don't have to undig it. You don't have to unbury it. It's right there so that you can do work on it. That's what it's there for. Over here is the main water shutoff valve to the whole lawn irrigation system. Like if you have a zone that it won't turn off or something and you come out here. See the difference between these two irrigation boxes? This one also should have been excavated and lined with gravel so that you can get your hands around it, so that you can inspect it, so that you can work on it, so that you can replace it, so you can do things like that. So that box should have been excavated.